If you're considering moving to Florida and you're wondering what are the top five suburbs in Tampa Bay, this video is for you. Over the past two and a half years, I've helped over 100 individuals and families move here to the Tampa Bay area, and they always ask me the same question. Juan, after being here for five years, if you had to do it all over again, what suburbs would you choose? Now, I wanna start by saying that I don't live in any of the areas that I'm about to recommend, but our clients do. And after helping them buy and build homes all across Tampa Bay, these are the areas that I would move my family to if we didn't have to live by the beach. Now, I wanted to share that because we moved to Tampa Bay for the sun, the sand, and the salt water. We're beach babies. We absolutely love living on the Gulf of Mexico and the lifestyle that it has to offer. But the one thing we don't have here at the beach is these big, beautiful new homes with high ceilings, open floor plans, and all these incredible amenities that these newer suburbs have. What we do have is access to the Gulf of Mexico and 27 miles of sugar sand beaches. It's awesome, and honestly, I wouldn't trade it for the world. However, that might not be the most important thing for you. Your primary focus might be finding a community with the best schools in a safe area, with big, beautiful new homes, open floor plans, and all the amenities that these suburbs have to offer. So here's what you can expect from today's video. I'll share my top five suburbs in Tampa Bay, the top neighborhoods in those suburbs, and who these communities are for or who they're trying to attract. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group, where we help people just like you buy I sell, relocate, and invest here in the greater Tampa Bay area. I also want to invite you to leave any questions you have in the comments section down below. I love answering all the legitimate questions we have down there. I don't have a, an assistant that's following up on those. Those comments are directly coming from me. Also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. All of my contact information is listed down below in the description. Heck, there's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that is most convenient for you. All right, as we get kicked off here today, the first thing I want you to be aware of is this is in no particular order. I love all five of these suburbs for different reasons. Some of them have some similarities. You'll catch that as we go along here, but each one of them lives in its own unique way. Um, lifestyle is the primary focus here in the greater Tampa Bay area. It, and if you've been around the block a time or two um, in terms of owning homes or living in areas, you've probably learned by now that the home is actually not the most important thing. And what I mean by that is a house is nothing more than four walls and a roof. While it is super important and you know, we all need one and want one, I can take the best house, the absolute best house, the one you can imagine in your mind that you could draw up and have an architect built and the whole thing. And if I put that in a community that does not match your ideal lifestyle or a community that you don't love, you'll end up hating that home. That's just the reality of it. But if you were to take a home that didn't necessarily fit all your criteria and put that in a community that matches your ideal lifestyle almost perfectly, you'll end up loving where you live. And that is where we really wanna drive the conversation today. So no, this isn't just about the houses. Listen, we have incredible builders that I can get you the same model home from Tampa all the way down to Venice. That's not the problem. What we really want to do is make sure that we're matching your ideal lifestyle with the correct community. So that is going to be our focus of today. So we're going to talk a lot about how these areas live. So the first suburb on this list is Odessa. Odessa is located about 30 to 40 minutes north of downtown Tampa, depending on drive time and traffic. It is roughly 20 minutes away from Tampa International Airport, making it extremely attractive. You got access to the Veteran Highway, which gives you, you know, a straight shot to the airport, which is fantastic. Or you can head over to 275 and head down to Tampa. So conveniently located in that respect. Now, here's what I really love about this community. Starkey Ranch in particular is my favorite in Odessa, hands down. As a matter of fact, this is probably, oh, it's so hard, but this could potentially be my favorite um, neighborhood in all of the greater Tampa Bay area in terms of suburbs, okay? And let me tell you why. Starkey Ranch feels like they build the houses around the, the wildlife in the community and try to preserve it as much as possible when most of our suburbs and these master plan communities, they come in and they level everything. And I mean, they get rid of everything except for what the counties require them to keep. And then they'll put the houses up and then you'll get the one palm tree in the front of the yard. Some people love that, but for me personally, I love feeling connected to the outdoors. And that's what Starkey Ranch really makes me feel when I am visiting that community. So 
if it sounds like I'm high on Strikey Ranch, I really am. Um, there is 20, over 20,000 acres of parks and wildlife preserves directly behind the community, which is amazing. Uh, the, the park in the community is outstanding. The schools rank really high. Um, in terms of safety, it ranks above average in the state of Florida. It was voted the, the number one uh, master plan community in Pasco County and in the country at one point. Um, this is a community that people have come to love. There's dog parks, pools, uh, walking and hiking trails. There's over 20 miles of trails just in the community alone. And like I said, it just really feels connected. They've got their own garden. Um, you can go kayaking in some of the lakes and ponds that they have in the area there. And I just absolutely love how this community feels. Now the next question becomes is what does it cost to live in Starkey Ranch, Juan? And that's a great question. Over the last 30 days, the average home that sold in Starkey Ranch was a four bedroom, three bath, 2,664 square foot and sold for $778,000. Now you could pick up a home for as little as $188,000. That was a condo. And the highest single family home sold for $2.3 million. And that 778 is above the Tampa average, which comes in right at about $550,000. But for that, you do get a higher quality of living. They tend to attract um, a higher quality resident overall, and that's based upon education, uh, diversity, and of course, income. So just keep that in mind. You can check out niche.com. They have a lot of stats on who is living in these communities and who they're trying to attract. It's a great resource. The second suburb on this list is absolutely one of the most popular in all of the greater Tampa Bay area, and that is none other than Wesley Chapel. Wesley Chapel is located 30 to 40 minutes north of downtown Tampa. It takes about 40 to 45 minutes to get to the airport. And it has been growing like crazy. The last census came in at 68,000 residents. I think when they do the new one in 2024 this year, we're probably gonna see well over 75,000, if not 80,000 residents in this community. It is growing and continuing to grow. There are neighborhoods building everywhere. If you want a specific lifestyle, you definitely can find it in Wesley Chapel. It's incredible. It's conveniently located right off of I-75. It has three incredible shopping centers. You've got the Tampa Premium outlets that are right off of 75 there. You've got Wiregrass Mall, which is an incredible outdoor mall. You've got the Grove uh, and Crate at Grove. These are really cool experiences. We've done entire videos on Wesley Chapel. Go check it out. It was one of the first communities in all of the greater Tampa Bay area to have a man-made lagoon, seven and a half acres. This thing is incredible. If you have not seen it, you can kayak and paddleboard. There's obstacle courses out there. You know, Wesley Chapel is not exactly right around the corner to the beach, so the motto was they were bringing the beach to your backyard. It takes about an hour and 10 minutes to get from there to Clearwater Beach, just as a little bit of perspective. So most people don't necessarily like doing a day trip during the week. So they built this man-made lagoon in Epperson and it has been very attractive. That community has, has almost sold through all of their properties. They are selling in uh, Epperson North, which is about a mile north of there, but there are lots of other great neighborhoods out there also. Avalon Park is one of our clients' favorites where they're building the actual downtown of Wesley Chapel, which is really cool. You've got Rivers Landing and Rivers Edge, which is an incredible community that is gated. That's fantastic also. And then Seven Oaks, another gated community. It's it's a little bit more established. That community was built, um, you know, the last 10 years or so ago, um, but really, really conveniently located, very close to the highway and gives you a ton of access to everything. Over the last 30 days, the average home that sold in Wesley Chapel was a four bedroom, three bath, 2,218 square foot, and it sold for 400 $54,000. And the homes ranged anywhere from $246,000 on the low end for a condo all the way up to $1.1 million for a five bedroom single family home. For the next suburb, I'm gonna take you about 10 miles north of Wesley Chapel to San Antonio, Florida. And not San Antonio, Texas, San Antonio, Florida. Now, this is one of the most northern suburbs of the greater Tampa Bay area right now. Um, it is in high demand. It is located about 40 to 50 minutes to downtown Tampa. That totally depends on traffic. If accidents happen, it could take you up to an hour. So I wanna make sure that you do have that in front of you. Also, it takes roughly 40 to 50 minutes to get to the airport. There are alternate routes, so just keep that in mind. It is really close to the highway. Now, my favorite neighborhood right now is Marada. If you haven't heard about Marada, this is the largest man-made lagoon in the entire country. It's 15 acres. It is unbelievable, okay? Um, kayaking, paddleboard, There's, it's got its own beach. There's a swim-up bar. There's a tiki bar. They have food trucks on sites. There is a cabana cove for residents. They have a resident-only beach and it's, it's public access as well. Um, 
It's unbelievable. When you see this thing, it just absolutely blows your mind. I've done full videos on this, guys. We'll link all of them down below so you guys can check these out because this community is incredible. It actually has an active adult community in it as well for those seniors who are not ready to be put out to pasture, right, or whatever people say. And that community has pickleball and tennis and pool and all kinds of things. There are uh, children's tot lots and playgrounds and dog parks and walking trails and golf cart paths and everything you can imagine in this community. It is unbelievable. Now, in San Antonio specifically, this is basically the only game in town right now, but everything is starting to build up around this. So if you're somebody who likes a little bit more room and not having as many people around, Murata is a great target for you because it's gonna be a few years before this area really expands to look anywhere near like what Wesley Chapel does. And again, this is gonna be similar in feel to Odessa in terms of how much space you have around you and the amount of population too, because both of those areas, Odessa and San Antonio aren't quite uh, built up to anywhere near what Wesley Chapel is, right? So 70,000 residents in West, at Wesley Chapel, that's a lot, right? Um, so just to keep that in perspective. So it's busier there. These two spaces will give you a little bit more room. So I love that. So if that's something that intrigues you. And if you want to take a day trip, you can drive, you know, 50 minutes to an hour and a half north and, and get into the springs in Florida, go do kayaking and Crystal River and all kinds of cool stuff too. So this is a really unique uh, location here. It gives you access to the city, gives you a little bit of breathing room, and gives you access to some of the most incredible wildlife and nature preserves we have in the entire country. Now, over the last 30 days, the average home that sold here was a three bedroom, three bath, 2,077 square foot, and that sold for $426,000. You could pick up a condo for as low as $264,000, or again, another five bedroom, single family home for $1.1 million. Now, I try to give as much information as I can in this short period of time. We've made full videos on all of these communities. We'll link them down below, but if you have more questions, please feel free to put those in the comments section down below, or if you wanna go deeper, all of my contact information is down there as well. Now that I've taken you through my favorite northern suburbs, we're gonna head south to Parrish, Florida. Now this community here is very interesting because when you go, it's going to feel very rural and very off the beaten path, but here's what you need to be aware of. They are selling as many homes in Parish as they are in Wesley Chapel. That is unbelievable, right? A community that has over 70,000 residents is selling as much as a community that isn't even close to that. Now, Parish is growing and they are doing it right. They are attracting, you know, young working professionals, families, just like the other communities are as well. But one of the things that I love about Parish is out of the northern suburbs that I took you guys to earlier, most of the time to get to the beach, you're gonna be looking at a minimum of 45 minutes most of them 50 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes on average and on a bad day from wesley chapel to clearwater beach could take you as much as an hour and 40 minutes during the peak season when uh, everybody's here for spring break so if that is important to you know that that is part of the cost of moving more inland the thing i love about parish is this community here is only 30 minutes to downtown st pete roughly 30 to 35 minutes to st pete beach which is awesome you can make it to Tampa International Airport in as little as 45 minutes, I would give yourself a, about 50 minutes to an hour. Same thing for downtown Tampa, as little as 45 minutes, but probably 50 minutes to an hour on average, so keep that in perspective. Now, Parrish is offering a lot of options. There's a lot of home builders in the area. You've got Pulte and Cardell Homes and Neal Homes and um, D.R. Horton and Lennar, Homes by West Bay, uh, Taylor Morrison. I mean, y'all, everything is available to you, which is fantastic, but you've got really cool communities there as well. If you're an active adult and looking for a 55 plus community, they've got Dell Webb, which is an amazing community. We've done a full tour on that. I would check that out. My favorite community, hands down in Parish, is North River Ranch. Um, and I'll give you the reason why. They've got uh, biking and hiking trails. They've got dog parks. They've got three resort style pools. They're building a cafe in the community. And what I really love is they are actually building the downtown area, just like Avalon Park up in Wesley Chapel, which we discussed earlier, North River Ranch, they are building the community village right outside of there. And, and y'all, there aren't very many any places in the United States where you can actually build a home where the new downtown is going to be. That's difficult to do. Again, it's proximity to the beaches, to St. Pete and to Tampa are very attractive. It feels like you have space. Again, feels uh, similar to Odessa and San Antonio because it's not overwhelming. The schools are right there. The quality of the resident, again, the quality of the education, you know, um, in, 
and safety, it's above average in terms of uh, the national average and in the state of Florida. I'm not telling you it's safe. Go look at the statistics. They prove themselves. Um, this is just something you can look for. So another really attractive community here. Now, one of the things to take note of here is as we head south, the cost of owning a home does go up. Over the last 30 days, the average home that sold in Paris was a three bedroom, three bath, 2,169 square foot home, and that sold for $504,000. You could pick up a condo for as little as $185,000, and the top home sales for a single family was $2.2 million. And last, but most certainly not the least on this list is Lakewood Ranch. And again, this list is according to Juan. When people ask me, Juan, if you were going to move away from the beach and you were going to choose a suburb, what suburb would it be? Lakewood Ranch comes on that list. And it is hard to argue that this is not one of the absolute best, if not the best. It has been voted the number one master plan community in the United States for over five years. That's incredible, right? When you think about that and for a lot of reasons. And for it, I use the word master plan community a lot today and forgive me, that means that it was designed from tip to tail before they broke ground, right? They, they knew exactly where all the parks were gonna go and all the neighborhoods and the shopping centers before they ever broke ground. And that is really cool when you think about it. And it gives a lot of congruency to where you live and things don't feel like Oh, they, you know, the, the shopping center was an afterthought. And why is it so far out of the way? You don't feel that in these communities because they were designed for us to live in them and, and make it a communal experience. That's the best way I can explain that. And Lakewood Ranch is arguably the best. Okay. Now, would it be my first choice? That's a really hard thing to say. You know, I love Odessa because how it feels living in that, you know, that environment where you feel like you're connected to the outdoors. Do I think that Lakewood Ranch offers some of the most premium amenities? Absolutely. So if that is important to you, this is a community you're really gonna wanna focus on. Um, the cost of living here is gonna be more, but man, you have incredible golf courses like Lakewood National. Um, you know, pickleball clubs, all of these communities have amazing things to offer, but Lakewood Ranch is the premium experience here. So I just wanna make sure that we, we bring attention to that. Now it's located about an hour south of Tampa International Airport and an hour south of Tampa. You are only 20 minutes away from downtown Sarasota and roughly to 20 to 25 minutes away from uh, Sarasota International Airport, SRQ. So that's a really nice option also to have two airports at your disposal. Really, really cool. Now in terms of neighborhoods, there are a lot to choose from but I'm only gonna give you a couple guys I could name off ten in Lakewood Ranch and they call them villages there just so you're aware no not the villages that you're thinking of but they call them villages in Lakewood Ranch um, two of my personal favorites are Lake House Cove at Waterside and y'all this is when we we're talking about that premium experience this is what you're looking for if I was going to move to Lakewood Ranch this would probably be my ideal spot um, beautiful homes you're right on the lake Waterside place is an incredible experience you know you're only a few minutes away from University Town Center Mall a lot to love here. That's one of them. The second neighborhood that I really like over there is Mallory Park. Um, it, both of these communities are gated. I love these communities. Uh, Mallory Park, the elementary school, the kids can walk from right inside of the community to outside of the community to go to the elementary school. I love that. It's got a really communal feel. Again, Lakewood Ranch as a whole, you know, the schools rank very, very well. Again, the, the again quality of resident diversity, all these things are important to a lot of people. Don't take my word for it. I'm I'm not in here telling you where you should move. I'm just telling you when people ask me where I would move if I was moving to the suburbs, these are the five areas I would target. Again, in no particular order. If you really grilled me on it, I might be willing to share some of that stuff, but here's what I want you to know. This journey is about you. If you're considering relocating or moving to the area, don't hesitate to reach out to me and the team. Our goal here is to really figure out what your ideal lifestyle is and to point you to the communities that are most likely to, uh, to match that ideal lifestyle. And then you can figure out what works best for you. Our role is really to be a guide. We love doing it. If you have questions, like I said, put them in the comments below, but more importantly, reach out to me and the team. All of my contact information is down there, including a link to my calendar. Again, we've made videos on every one of these communities, multiples in fact, and uh, YouTube is gonna put two more up here that it thinks you're gonna love. If you guys have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.